here. I thought we were finally so going to get away from what this we place. Well, Yo. good thing that Aloy showed up. We'll see. The longer their sojourn in the desert, the crustier the shard counter's mood became. I like that character. So far, so good. I can actually breathe down here. The mask seems to be holding up. I've never been able to swim this deep before. Las Vegas, May 4th, 2016. 20 years ago this week, Stanley Chen broke the ground on one of the most ambitious construction projects in American history. Even though many Americans didn't want him here, there, as he struck his spade into the barren soil, the CEO quit how resentment against Chinese political influence had turned Vegas into a boiling hotbed of nationalistic sentiment, but how his immense fortune had pulled that down, finally warming Americans to his idea of a new Las Vegas. Who would have, believe, who would have believed at the time that he would become one of the most beloved figures of the clawback era? But Stanley Chin has always been one to defy the odds, literally. In 2035, during a meeting with potential investors at the old Tempo Hotel, Chin watched in horror as his water filtration startup drowned before his very eyes. Realizing too late that his once trusted lawyer had sold critical patent info to the competition. The resulting chain reaction of busted deals wiped him out, leaving him with only $88,000 to his name. Devastated, Chen decided to leave his future to fate. He went to the casino floor and placed all 88 k on a roulette wheel. Number 8. It hit. The resulting... 37 to 1 payout netted him nearly 3.2 million. Enough to rejuvenate his dreams of starting a successful business. He threw himself back into his work, eternally thankful for his lucky new lease on life. Five years later, it wasn't Chin that needed saving, but Vegas itself. The hot zone crisis had strangled tourism. Years of ever-increasing heat had dried out the county completely. Water and critical demand everywhere was now too expensive to import. Abandonment seemed to be the only option. The City of Light was about to go out forever. But Stanley Chin couldn't let that happen. In five years of incredible success, he had turned... 3.2 million into 200 billion, selling water filtration technology that data corrupted. It started right here, more than 30 years ago. Back when this casino was still called the uh, Temple. 
one big bet turned my fate around. But now, fate's dealt its cruelest hand ever to everyone. I have to turn the lights out one final time, and the waters of my adopted home will at last run dry. Well, if a dream has to die, at least I can say goodbye first. Stanley Chen. What did he do here? That's the wagon. That looks like a way out. Poseidon's down here, somewhere. Gotta find where he's hiding. Find the oh red light, red light, red light. There, 
red light. Alert. Critical flooding detected. Automatic drainage controls offline. To execute an emergency purge, manual reset of primary and secondary pump nodes is required. The purge can then be triggered at the pump maintenance station. If I do this purge and drain all the water, I can fight that big machine on dry ground. Looks like I have to reset a couple of pump nodes first. According to the map, there should be an access point for the first node south of here. these tunnels down here. Water lines for an entire city. I can't reach the ledge from here. Maybe something I can climb to get out. Uh... Oh, there it is. I was going to be really confused there for a second. second node. That's it. should be on the other side of the bill. Yep.
Another access point. Should get me to the second node. Just shut down the secondary node. No more water for the fountains. No more shows. No one left to appreciate them anyway. I'll never forget the city's grand reopening. The fountains had been bone dry for years. No one believed they'd ever return. So, as the first plume arced up in the dome, the music swelling, my heart soared right along with it. The city gave me a second chance once. Now it had one, too. The domes, the water... He was responsible for all of it. Maybe that debris is weighing it down. Taking care of both nodes. Now we just need to activate the emergency purge at the maintenance station. <laughs> According to the map, the maintenance station should be at the south end of the dome. Oh, those are uh, the smaller things. Those are the otter things. Yeah. Looks like part of this building collapsed. There might be a way in. Okay, let's see where this leads. station now. I just gotta find a console to activate the emergency purge. You'll see a recreation of the Mongol Fear Brothers hot air balloon. This is the second model of the balloon to grace the Las Vegas Strip after the first one was sold to a casino in Shanghai in 2031. The original Montgolfier's balloon took flight in Paris, France in 1783 and was the first free flight by humans. But the two brave men who jumped aboard weren't the first beings to take to the air. King Louis XIV had insisted on a test flight that sent a sheep, a duck, and a rooster into the skies three months earlier than their human data corrupted.
System shutdown is almost done. Only thing left is to power everything down at the control center. So, I guess this is it. One final walk down the strip, and then it's lights out forever. At least I won't be around to see it destroyed. The Odyssey will be well on its way to Sirius by the time the swarm gets here. Still, my last memory of this place will be empty. A city that's already dead. Stanley Chen was one of them. The Zenith. But he did so much for this place. He, he doesn't sound like the others. Should be a console in here. There. I will draw this place out. Did it? <laughs> okay. Now I can deal with that machine guarding the door on the other end of the dome. And once I get past it, I can get to what's waiting on the other side of the door. So, at least the purge didn't go in the hole of the water. Now everything's just soggy. What's this? Left these machines behind. Let's see if there are them. They were the big one first. Oh, oh, nope, nope. Hey, Wendy, I had to leave early today. Could you handle something for me? That custom order for Mr. Tuberville in Family Suite, one, family suite 115 just came in. The receipt makes it very clear that it is not to be sent to his room. He wants the package sent out to Miss Olivia in New Paradise. Yes, that Miss Olivia. And no, he clearly doesn't know. So, don't you go telling him, girl. If 
she wants to keep squeezing gift out of these cheats, then good luck to her. I thought maybe she'd finally got too old to reel them in, but Liang said that she saw Miss Olivia on Tuesday, and she looked like she was in her early 30s again. So she must have gone back in for more work, and it couldn't have been cheap, that's for sure. Treatment or not, I hope I've still got half her energy when I'm in my sixth. Okay, I have to run. Get that gift sent out. Usual drone service. See you Wednesday. Ah, shit. Get up. Yeah, you, 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 ow. Mother fucker! Yeah. Stupid burrower stomp. Oh shit. Come on, come on. Was this you? Did you lower the waters? Yeah, but there's a new problem. That thing's in our way. Ha, 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 ha. 